Hi everyone. The volume of a cube is increasing at a rate proportional to its volume at any time t. If the volume is 8 cubic feet originally and 12 cubic feet after 5 seconds, what is the volume at t equals 12 seconds? So anytime you see um, this statement proportional to itself at any time, we're going to set up a differential equation. This is not a related rates problem. So basically, when you set that up, you're going to you're going to set up like this: derivative of the volume with respect to time equals some constant times the volume. So that's what we want to do. Now, to solve this um, differential equation, we're going to use separation of variables. So what we're going to do is move the v's, the v to the left side and the dt to the right. So when you do this, you're going to get, um, I'm divide by V here, and then I'm going to write K, so I'm just dividing by V and uh, moving the DT up here. And then what we're going to do is integrate both sides. So with the integral of DV for V equals, you move the K in front if you want, um, antiderivative of DT. So, uh, what we get for this, when you take the integration of that, is ln of v. And for this, you're just going to write kt, because you're going to write a t, and multiply it by the, the derivative of t is, the antiderivative of dt is t, and then we have to put our plus c. All right. Now, uh, it's traditional to put the equation in terms of v instead of ln of v. And so we're going to exponential, we're going to do this by exponentiating both sides to get base e. So what you're going to do is write this as v equals e k to the kt plus c. Now, using the rules of exponents, we can write this as v equals e uh, to the kt power times e to the c power. And since this is a constant, I'm just going to let this e to the little c equal big C constant and write this as v equals c e k to little t. Now we can use the initial condition that uh, v equals 8 at time equals uh, 0 to solve for c. So basically we're going to get our v is 8 using this, equals C, and then um, we have E to the 0 T. Um, anything, this is going to be to the 0 power. Anything to the 0 power is just 1. So our C equals 8. And now plug it back in. So our C is 8. V equals 8 E K to the kt power. Now we're going to use uh, the condition that v equals 12 at time equals 5 and solve for k. So basically we had v equals 8 e to little kt. So now we're going from 12 equals 8 times e to the 5k, 5k, because t was 5, and now divide both sides by 8, so that's 12 over 8, which is 3 over 2, equals e to the 5k power, and so now we have to solve for k, so let's take ln of both sides, Move this 5k in front. So basically we have um, ln of 3 over 2 equals 5k times ln of e. ln of e, remember, equals 1. So we'll just leave it like that. And then solve for k. So we have k equals um, one, one fifth 
ln of 3 halves. Or you can just put this over 5. <coughs> now, we finally plug in t equals 12. So we get volume equals 8 e. Remember, it was um, right here. Our k is 1 fifth ln of 3 over 2. And then our t is 12. Wait, our, yeah, so then we have 12 for our v. And we're going to plug in t equals 12. And what you're going to get is 21.169. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.